Hello everybody, this is Mia Wood, Associate Professor of Philosophy in the Philosophy and Sociology Department at Pierce College. Today we're going to talk about the relation between a tautology and a Tarski's world necessity. In other words, we are going to talk about the relation between a sentence that is always true by virtue of its truth functionality and a sentence that is always true in Tarski's world. Let's begin. First, here are several ways uh, to define tautology. A sentence is a tautology when, and only when, it is true on every row of the truth table in the column under the main connective. The definition from the book Language Proof and Logic is also helpful. A tautology is a sentence that is logically true in virtue of its truth functional structure. This can be checked using truth tables since S is a tautology if and only if every row of the truth table for S assigns true to the main connective. While I was reading that definition, you probably also saw highlighted the third definition, which we get from lecture notes um, online. You can see the uh, address of the PDF in blue, uh, and that is a really nice economical definition. A tautology is a sentence whose truth table contains nothing but T's in the column under the main connective. So notice uh, what all these definitions have in common. They all talk about a sentence being true on every row of the truth table in the column under the main connective. So obviously if you have one connective, that's the connective. It's, um, there's no main connective because there's just one. But if you have multiple connectives, we're talking about looking at the column under the main connective. That is the connective that drives the sentence. Another feature that uh, these definitions have in common is the idea that uh, the definition of a tautology or the concept of a tautology has to do with connectives and not with sentences that don't have connectives. In other words, here we're concerned with the truth definitions for connectives in language proof and logic. We're talking initially about negation, conjunction, and disjunction. Let's look at some examples. So notice here you have an example using the blocks language from Tarski's world, uh, but because the sentence is about or is governed by connectives, the fact that we have uh, blocks language sentences is not at issue. So we have the sentence, A is small or not. And the column under the main connective, in this case the disjunction, shows that the values are always true. We have two rows of the truth table because we have a single atomic sentence. Now let's take a look at a sentence that has uh, two atomic sentences as its constituents along with, once again, a disjunction and a negation. Actually, two disjunctions, but the main connective is the disjunction uh, at the middle of the sentence. Here again, if you look at the first disjunction, which is the main connective, and you look at the values under that disjunction, you'll see that in each case, on every row of the truth table, the sentence is true. Lastly, another example, another example, uh, similar to the A is small or not small, one at the top, we have the sentence, either it's P or not P where P is a stand-in for any sentence in the universe. Here again, the values are true under the main connective. So just to review, a tautology is a sentence that is truth functionally true on every row of the truth table in the column under the main connective. A Tarski's world necessity is a sentence that is impossible to make false in Tarski's world. So a Tarski's world necessity is not the same as a tautology, although we'll find out that all tautologies are Tarski's world necessities, but the converse is not the case. In other words, it's not true to say that 
all Tarski's world necessities are tautologies. A couple of other ways that we can define a Tarski's world necessity include uh, the second and the third in this um, uh, slide. A sentence that is always true in Tarski's world is a Tarski's world necessity. A Tarski's world necessity is a necessarily true sentence in Tarski's world, i.e. a sentence that must be true. So um, let's say a little bit more about the notion of a Tarski's world necessity. In Tarski's world, recall, there are no named entities that have no size or shape. In other words, you're never going to have a named entity without a size and a shape attached to it. And these sizes and shapes are restricted to, respectively, uh, small, medium, and large, and uh, tet, cube, and dodec. In other words, every name team must be one of the three sizes and one of the three shapes. Unlike tautologies, Tarski's world necessities do not rely on connectives for their truth value. In other words, Tarski's world necessities uh, rely on the restricted world of three sizes and three shapes. They also rely on the assumption that no two objects uh, can have the same name. All, one object can have multiple names. To reiterate, however, if you do have a tautology, you will have a Tarski's world necessity. Let's look at a couple of examples of Tarski's world necessity. First, we have the sentence it's not the case that A is both larger than and smaller than B. Uh, now notice if we were to eliminate the negation, we would have the sentence A is both larger than and smaller than B. Now we could build a truth table in which this sentence is true. That would be on the first row of the truth table. So this sentence, A is both larger than and smaller than B, uh, does not reflect the Tarski's world semantics when we're dealing just with the connectives. When you add uh, the negation to the front so that you get, it's not the case that A is both larger than and smaller than B, uh, now you get a sentence in Tarski's world that you can never make false. So there's no world in which the sentence A is both larger than and uh, smaller than B is true, but if you negate it, it's necessarily true. Now take a look at the second example. A is a cube, a tet, or a dodec. Recall that one of the features of Tarski's world is that there are three possible shapes three and only three possible shapes. We've got cubes, we've got tets, and we've got dodecs. So um, if you have an entity A, recall that a name cannot exist without uh, being attached to a shape or a size um, or a relation between um, itself and some other object, you're going to have to say that A would be one of these three sizes. Remember, you have a Tarski's world necessity when you may not, or when it is impossible, to build a world in which the sentence is false. And you can mess around with Tarski's world to, to test this out. Lastly, uh, let's reiterate uh, the point that we made earlier, namely that all tautologies are Tarski's world necessities. And we know this because all tautologies are logically necessary sentences, that is, they are true in all circumstances, so they'll hold that status in any Tarski's world we could construct. Moreover, tautologies do not depend on the meaning of the atomic constituents. Instead, they depend on how the connectives operate on these atomic truth values. So we're not talking about the meaning of, for example, large. We also said that although all tautologies are Tarski's world necessities, not all Tarski's world necessities are tautologies. And you can see a couple of examples of how this bears out. So uh, look at the right side, uh, or the, sorry, the rightmost disjunction in the first example in the upper left. 
you'll notice uh, that although the sentence A is small, medium, or large is a Tarski's world necessity, it is not, as you can see on uh, the last row of the truth table, for the rightmost disjunction, it's not a truth functional necessity. In other words, it's not a tautology. Similarly, when you look at the uh, lower right sentence, you'll see that from the standpoint of truth functionality, this sentence is not a tautology. I hope that this has been a useful tutorial to you. Look out for more.